after singing the national anthem, more than 80 organizations marched around the New York State Fairgrounds to celebrate local veterans. The large military trucks and marching bands entertained the crowd, but the more important events and services were inside. Saturday's Veterans Parade and Expo helped unite veterans with active military members, potential employers, and other important service providers. For nine years, our community has gathered together for this event, so we will never forget our veterans. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War, so the Expo made a point to honor Vietnam veterans like Gordy Lane. Lane says events like these are important because they remind veterans that their service is appreciated. Vietnam veterans first came home, they were treated very badly. And uh, they adopted their, their motto, which was, never again will one generation of veterans abandon another. After serving overseas, many veterans struggle to readjust to civilian life. According to a study, at least 30% of Vietnam veterans suffer from PTSD, and 20% of all Iraq and Afghanistan veterans are diagnosed with PTSD or depression. Eric Ruxin served two tours in Vietnam. He says when he came back to the U.S., he struggled to find a job and was eventually diagnosed with PTSD. I, I never drank in the service, you know, a few beers here and there, you know. But all of a sudden, bang, I'm an alcoholic. New York State Assemblyman Bill Magnarelli says events like these are essential because they help veterans get in touch with the services and benefits they are entitled to. And what we really want to do is get our servicemen and women back into the mainstream of our society when they get home and help them get a, a start as far as the job is concerned.